What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and here we are with the final of the German Double Six Counter Attack Dungeons. We had Big Mom on day one, Katakuri on day two and now day three the Perospero Island is here. Uh, this island is ridiculous. If you thought the previous two were pretty stupid, this one uh, just piles it on even more. So we'll go through what the dungeon does in a little bit but prior to getting to that uh, I want to talk about just the the fact that you know we had those new chopper man missions like I discussed yesterday and They updated the drop rates. They lowered the stamina They've done a lot of different things here to try and, and incentivize uh, the player base into playing this event Which I think is a good idea because no one was actually playing this event whatsoever We were not getting any points, but what they've done here. They've done some very good changes uh, Myself personally, I think I'm actually really close to getting my first legend off of the chopper man missions uh, I'm actually gonna be stockpiling all of these tickets Tickets and then do all the pulls at once. Uh, so I guess I'll, I'll wait for that. Um, so yeah, I've got 46 runs on the master difficulty. I haven't really touched the the regular uh, the, the the master difficulty. I haven't touched the ultimate difficulty is what I've been focusing on right now. Uh, I'll be able to get that red ticket and then I will focus on the master difficulty as well. I'll probably stream some of it tomorrow, depending uh, on what's going on. But I probably will stream some of it tomorrow. But I also want to go ahead and actually have a look at the website right here. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh it. This score should be pretty pretty close to what it is right now. Uh, there we go, 19.6 million points. This is ridiculous compared to yesterday. Uh, when they updated the actual event where they lowered the stamina and all that type of thing and they added the Chopman missions, the score just started skyrocketing, which is a really, really good sign. So we're about to reach 20 million points now, which is fantastic. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to that score. Remember, it does end on August 4th. So what I would think is if it keeps going with this trend, we probably will be able to make 35 and 40 million points. 50 million points would obviously be the goal, but I think that for most people out there, it'd be just fine if we reach, you know, 35 or 40 million points for the additional legend pool. So there we go. We're doing really well. Keep it up, guys. Make sure to keep farming it. And, you know, remember, even if you cannot beat the highest difficulty of these events, it is still fine to go ahead and farm the master and the elite difficulty to help out not only the community, but also potentially get the lower tier uh, chopper man mission. So make sure to go ahead and do that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start talking about the Perospero Island. So let's get into talking about this dungeon, which is going to be against Perospero. Uh, on stage one and two, you'll have to deal with characters that actually have barriers. And this is why Carrot is just perfect for this particular dungeon. If you are running anything outside of Carrot, it's going to be extremely annoying to get around. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's pretty annoying to deal with all these characters with barriers. You guys will be seeing on the second team that I have, uh, I actually use a character to just completely get rid of stage two. So that's pretty okay. But moving to stage three it's going to be against Barva Royce. Barva Royce has actually a little bit of less HP compared to a lot of the previous bosses that have been on some of the other dungeons so far in this event but he has uh, the preemptive attack of rewinding all of your character specials by three turns again making Carrot perfect for this but it, because it's only your sailors that get their specials rewinded and he does also have a great barrier and the characters behind him have slot barriers. Stage four is going to be Daifuku and he has an array of different effects that he actually he has nine turns of immunity, so you can't delay him, reduce his defense, or poison him. He has damage immunity against quick enemies, so you can't use any quick unit to deal damage to him, but Carrot goes through that. Uh, he has percent damage reduction, but Carrot goes through that. He does a bit of damage to you, changes all of your orbs into block, and he also becomes a strength unit as well. And he'll inflict one of the following different debuffs. He either gives you three turns of paralysis, three turns of burn, or three turns of attack down. So Treasure Map Nami is the optimal unit here as treasure map nami can get rid of all of those debuffs as well as change the block orbs that he gives you into matching so he like nami is just perfect here and then the final boss, Perospero, is super duper annoying once again. He has delay immunity, he has percent damage reduction, he has damage threshold as well, he has a combo hit barrier, he has resilience, he will despair you for 5 turns and gives you a full board of bomb orbs, and any time you use an attack boosting special, he removes all of your beneficial effects. Now, all of the details you see in this video, um, you know, these are all correct, but there might be more different things that he'll do either after turn 1 or under a certain health 
health threshold. I personally haven't looked at it thus far. Uh, maybe you guys already know that and you can let me know down below in the comment section. But what you guys see on screen in terms of the information with this dungeon, it is correct. The health is approximate because we can't get an exact health threshold unless if we bring uh, a character such as Viola to actually have a look at how much HP they have. But anyways, the second team here you guys are seeing is a Snake Man and Friend Captain Carrot. I cannot take credit for this suggested team. A big shout out over to Karanitas over on the One Piece Treasure Cruise subreddit for suggesting this team. Uh, I did have a couple of changes, or a change specifically, which was Caesar Clown on this team, just because uh, his special allows us to completely clear the uh, the Stage 2 room with all of the combo hit barriers. And even though with Carrot as a Friend Captain, you can get through them just fine because they only have 4 HP. Um, um, but it's just easier to use Caesar Clown because then you can save for orbs for stage 3. Uh, and the rest of these characters are pretty easily accessible, I would say. The free, to play, the free to play characters, a lot of people should own by now. And the captain being Snake Man, I know a lot of people did do the 9 multis on the Katakuri Sugo Fest to get Snake Man. Um, but yeah, overall, this was a pretty easy team to build. And I think a lot of people would be able to build this team specifically uh, to take on Perospero. But once again, as I said, if you can't clear the ultimate difficulty, you can still get by by clearing the master difficulty. And that will not only give you more opportunities to, you know, level up those chopper man mission to get some good rewards but you also help out the community as well but that is going to conclude this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i'll see you guys within the next video